Hey everyone, Kevin here from Panasonic. With everything going on right now with coronavirus, uh, I thought I would take some time and create a tutorial video for you guys. So, out of the many things that I was thinking about doing, I thought I would show you guys a pretty unique feature that's on the GH5, uh, and a lot of people might not know about it. So, I have with me a anamorphic lens from SLR Magic and the GH5. Anamorphic lenses are becoming incredibly popular in film, music video, and even commercial work. I've used them in the past and they have this really nice filmic cinematic look to them. You get these nice oval bokeh, really nice lens flaring and overall just a really cool film look to it. One of the great things about this lens specifically is that it has a micro four thirds mount. Now I know what you're thinking is how can I shoot anamorphically on the GH5? Well, it has a built in anamorphic mode right into the camera. All right, so once you've accessed your menus, you're gonna wanna go to anamorphic four by three you can turn on 6K if you want. It'll ask you if you have an anamorphic lens. We do. I'm gonna hit yes. Now if we go and see the image, we'll notice that you're gonna get a weird, distorted, four by three squished video. Now, if you didn't have a de-squeeze display, this is what you'd have to work off of, which is borderline impossible to shoot with. So, what we can do is we can go back to our menu and we can scroll down until we see anamorphic disqueeze display and we can turn that on. Now what that's going to do is it's going to desqueeze the display and now we have a proper viewing of an anamorphic lens. So now we can shoot properly and as you notice right away you have this super wide aspect ratio which is another characteristic of anamorphic lenses. Some of them can be in a 2.39, some can go 2.35 or they can go up really high. This one I'll put at a 2.39, which seems to be the industry standard. Here are a few clips I've put together to showcase the anamorphic look on the GH5.